And that's it. We're done. First cutting, done. It's a wrap. Now we just gotta wait for the grass to grow. Keep saying those prayers for rain. We need it. Afternoon. We're gonna rake hay today. Uh, finished up mowing uh, the last piece of the field yesterday. Not gonna rake that piece today, rake that tomorrow. Uh, but the stuff that I mowed on Monday after work, we're gonna get that raked up. As you can probably hear, it's pretty windy today. That's a good thing. It's about 88 degrees. Probably about a five to 10 mile an hour wind, so this stuff's gonna be dry, dry, dry. So follow along, we'll get her done. All right, disconnected from the disc on. Now we are ready to rock and roll. Somebody put that too high. That never happened. Good enough. See, I'm only raking one side right now. Yeah. Um, I'm doing that because in certain areas of the field, the hay was extremely thick and I would have monster windrows. Um, it's just not conducive to trying to move quickly. Other spots in the field, the hay is not that thick, like right here, and uh, end up with little tiny windrows. I don't think you could ask for better drying weather. We're there's a pretty good breeze up on this hill right now. The breeze is actually coming out of, whoa, out of the southeast, which is weird for us. Here is the thinnest spot in the entire field. Um, it's always like that up here. I don't know. I need to run soil samples, but I'm still up in here on whether I'm going to turn this into a, uh, a rye field this year or not. I'm really up in the air on a lot of things when it comes to planting straw next year. I'm planting for straw next year. I can tell you the top of the hill will need a pile of amendments. Now we're getting it. Got the father-in-law out in the baler now. He'll be chasing me all evening. All right, plan now, got this field done. Uh, we are gonna stow one side and start around the round top. So I'll be driving around in a circle. That hay was pretty high, so I'm probably gonna do single. Um, don't know what that looks like yet. Up to 
your name. Guys, we're gonna get out for a second, hit the bathroom, check the hay. So as you can see, you know, I try to catch the windrow up here on this uh, furthest wheel, have it turn over a couple times before it hits that fifth wheel. We're gonna check her out. Still a little bit green. Needs a little bit more time to dry down. All right, guys, so I am switching to double rake now. Uh, the hay's a little bit lighter up here, and yep, we're gonna test her out, see how everything goes. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be just fine. Officially done with first cutting. Ended up with uh, 106 out of these two fields, uh, so not terrible. Um, after we were done baling today, and I, I started taxing the bales, uh, we handled some of the groundhog problems. And uh, hopefully when I go to make second cutting, they don't come back to these holes. So we'll see. 
but overall uh, pretty good deal stacked uh, 17 rows six deep and then I got uh, a few on the end there and we fed one so beautiful night though neighbors over there uh, right there I think you can kind of see it um, they combined off their uh, their barley and then made straw so they were busy too weather's just been phenomenal dry I don't think there's any rain in the forecast until uh, third Wednesday or Thursday of next week hot 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 I think it was 89 today just a very slight breeze I think it's supposed to be 90 tomorrow but appreciate everybody following along appreciate the views and uh, stay tuned I don't know what the heck I'm gonna be doing for the next couple weeks till we can take off second cutting I think I'll tackle that wood problem next She's going to need a bath. Oh, yeah. Going to have to clean you up real nice. <laughs>